Hello guys, welcome back. So now in here on our home screen dot dart file in the app bar, we are going to add a button to the right side of the app bar. So for that purpose, we can use actions after the title, you can say actions and we can say icon button. As you know, icon button has two properties, the on pressed, that is when the user click on it, what we want to do. And the other one is the icon, that is which icon we want to display. So we will have icons dot add icon. And the color for this icon will be white. So we can say color colors dot white. And make sure to add const modifier with this icon. As icon dot add and color white, it has constant values. I'm going to open up my phone, the iOS simulator. You can test it on your Android phone or if you want you can directly test it on your iPhone so that just install the app on the phone so our app is running now on the phone and you can see this add icon button now the next thing that we will do is basically let's apply some style on our this title so you can say text style font size will be 18 and let's also add some letter spacing to and font family font weight will be font weight dot bold So now if we check, then here you can see, it looks more pretty now. I'm going to create a new screen, basically our upload form screen and the default screen. For now, let's just right click on lib, new, dot file and we will simply name it as uh, upload items, upload and remember the name of each dot file must be in small English alphabet okay and instead of space you can use this underscore so we can say upload items underscore upload screen item items upload screen let's create press enter and now I'm going to import material dot dot Stateful widget and the name of this will be items upload screen. Now in here in our item upload screen state above the widget build I am going to create a method which will basically return a design and that will be let me add here a comment first that is upload form screen so the return type of this method will be widget and we can give it name as upload form screen return scaffold widget background color of this upload form screen will be black so we can simply say colors dot black for now we will just add an app bar with a title and that title will be using the text widget we can simply say upload new item and the color of the text will be white colors dot white
and this title we want to make sure that it must be at the center so we can say center title and set this to true so let's just install the app on the phone and let's see the result so now if I click on this add icon button then on the click event we have to send the user to the item upload screen so as you know that this is basically our home screen okay and here we have this add icon so the on pressed event I mean we have to add the event on the event pressed that is when the button is pressed what we want to do we want to simply send the user to the items upload screen so we can say navigator dot push context comma material page root builder see and our screen name is that is where we want to send the user so it is items upload screen this screen okay so now when the user click on the icon on the add icon button then it will send the user to the screen which is items upload screen and from the item upload screen make sure to remove this cost we do not need that after it just like as I told you the background color for our upload from screen will be black and similarly the background color for this app bar will also be black just like this so now we can call this upload from screen in here from the widget build we can simply say return upload from screen that's it so now let's just click on the play button to install the app on our phone so our app is running now and we are on the home screen so as you know on the home screen when the user click on the add icon button so when the user click on the add icon button then it send us to the items upload screen which is basically upload form screen you can say at the start for now you are seeing our upload form screen which has an app bar with a title at the center and you can see that and we have this back button by default in here on which if the user click then it will send back the user to the home screen and if you click on the add icon button then it will send us to the upload form screen which is this app bar for now you are seeing upload new item with color white if you want to change this icon or maybe if you want to customize this back button then you can do that as well in the app bar after the title we have a property by the name leading so leading and we can say icon button so as you know icon button has two properties first is the click event which is on pressed that is when the user click on it what we want to do and second thing is the icon itself that is which icon we want to display for this icon button so let's say I'm going for icons dot arrow back we have many icons okay so you can choose from here any icon you want for example I'm going with this one arrow back rounded and the color for it will be colors dot white and next thing is the click event that is when the user click on this back button what we want to do so in that case we want to go to the previous screen so we will just close the existing screen so for that purpose in flutter we have this navigator dot pop that is close the current screen and go back to the previous screen you can say so now I'm going to install the app on the phone okay we have this error make sure to add one comma okay by mistake I put two commas so let's just install the app on the phone by clicking the play button so the app is running now and now if we click on this add icon it send us to the upload form screen and here you can see we have customized our this back button and it's changed to our on icon button so if we click on it it send us back to the home screen so it is working fine